What does NGU look like after playing 7000 hours? Welcome to my channel, I'm VoteX. Today I'm going to show you around what NGU looks like after you have played 7000 hours. If you haven't played NGU yet, it's basically an idle game and in my opinion probably the best idle game around. It's got a whole lot of features, a lot of things to do every day and you're always unlocking new features. Okay, to get started, to start at basic training. So basic training is more or less the same. Mine just runs automatically if I do a rebirth and also it runs quite faster. So the progress is faster and it helps with your challenges. Right, next we have um, boss fights. I'm currently on boss 231 and that's on the evil difficulty. I can easily go higher but that's all I need for now. Then if we go to money pit on the daily spins, I'm currently on tier 6 and I've done 333 spins so far and 32 left and I'm at tier 7. And that also means that I've basically been playing 333 days because I haven't missed any spins yet. On the jackpots, I've got the consumable jackpot two times and also the AP jackpot two times, which was quite nice. Okay, and then next we got adventure. So I'm currently busy with the item pot and I'm on floor 999. And that's set to use the optimal floor to get a kill in one shot. So I can go up quite a few floors more and my PP progress moment is 1.4 million per kill and I get 107,000 XP for every 30, 23 kills that I get which is also quite nice. On the zone side I'm currently walking, working towards to take on the rat lands but I currently don't have um, enough power or toughness. As you can see I got 776 6 trillion power and also 406 trillion toughness. But on Redlands I need quite a bit more. As you can see the Redlands I need to get to Septillion which is one level higher than I'm currently on. Okay, next we got the inventory tab. And here we got all my equip items and currently I have them equipped to boost my third resource bar which I call my dark energy. And yes, my inventory items, I quickly go through all the tabs, you can more or less see what I've got. On this um, last tab I keep all the items I don't really use that much or I'm probably going to get rid of some of them soon. I just want to over over each of the items so you can more or less see which um, boost they give. Okay, this chest piece I got from the Exile Titan and it's a secret chest piece. So quite a few things you have to do to get it and even at this low levels the boost it gives is quite good. And I also currently have 14 accessory slots unlocked. And also I've got the dual wielding unlocked as well, which I can add a second weapon. And you also, you have to, at the, at the start you only get the 5% efficiency on it. And on your wishes you increase your efficiency so I'm currently on a 50% efficiency on um, this weapon so whatever stats it gives I've got 50% um, of that stats and just on the side it's going to show you all the boosts I getting from my equipment and next we have the MacGuffins um, items and here is one I've got 13 slots unlocked at the moment and on the side you can see what um, boost they are giving me currently. Some of them are quite a high level like the Adventure MacGuffin it's a very high level. The Blood MacGuffin is one of the most important because it boosts your um, blood um, production quite a bit. 
Okay, next we got the daycare. So here I boost mostly my MacGuffins because they get a level every 30 minutes. So it boosts um, them quite a bit um, every day. And also my cube is on tier 8. And the power and toughness and boost that I'm getting helps a lot. Okay, next we got the uh, augmentations and they more or less stay the same um, from the beginning till the end. It's just you get boost that makes them faster and more efficient. Advanced training. So I currently have a, the wish activated which I don't have to put any more energy into my advanced training. So all of the tabs they will all just run at 100%. All the time. Time machine. This time machine also just stays the same. It just depends on how many boosts you got and how fast you can run your time machines and gold multiplier to increase your your gold GPS. And here you'll see all the um, different boosts that I can't have active on my time machine. Oh, we just got a um, money pit. A spin that we can quickly do. Let's see what we get. One magic potion, not too bad. Okay, next we got blood magic. So on the blood magic, so with all the boosts I got on blood magic, that includes the gold digger, my mega MacGuffins, and also hacks it boosts it quite nicely so currently getting 12.8 trillion per second on the last um, blood magic and yeah that's quite fast and the rest like this one it helps also but the rest is basically useless because compared to these two the others are very slow and on my spells I mostly use my blood magic to do my iron ball because that boosts my adventure stats the most. So twice a day I more, more or less get 3 million adventure stats boost. And I like to boost my gold, um, counterfeit gold as well and also blood spaghetti. But it comes to a point where it doesn't really help to put too much blood magic in there because the boosts that you get it's not worth it. So at some point you just stop and leave it as, as it is. Okay, on Wonders Exile, um, everything more or less the same. If you're not on Evil yet and you're still on the normal difficulty, if you go to Evil, it it does slow down quite a bit on the Wonders. So you have to work out um, a few boosts to um, be able to run the Wonders at an efficient rate. So like um, your advanced training, it boosts it quite a bit and your NGU, you boost it as well. On your BS, you can boost it as well. And on your MacGuffins, you can boost it as well. So all of that can help you quite a bit to get your MacMuffins go um, faster. Okay, next we got NGU. So currently I more or less have all my NGUs running at optimal speed. So as you can see, they're all basically maxed out. That's why you can't see the progress bar. Just my this one, it's not 100% yet. And then on the magic side, I've got my most important ones maxed out. Like the NGU for your fruit, it's very important. Your NGU for XP, it's very important. To boost your um, XP income per day. And yeah, an event set always also very important. Okay, so on the fruits, let me show you here. So there's two I mentioned on the NGU magic. It's very important for the fruit of, of knowledge because both of them will boost the amount of XP that you get from this fruit. Like I, on level 24 each day with using poop, I get 280 million XP from that and that's a lot a lot and 
like per day my XP production is about 600 um, million and yeah that's quite nice so currently I've got most of the important fruits maxed out it's just the mayo fruits that I'm still working on they're just very expensive to upgrade they're even very expensive just to activate like you need 10 quadrillion energy just to activate your um, just to activate the mayos and if you want to do it auto you gonna need the 100 quadrillion energy and or magic to activate these so it's quite expensive and it's very expensive just to get it to a higher level like this one will use 42 million seeds just to get it to a higher level so yeah, that's the only ones I'm still working on to get to level 24 and here also the boost that I currently have on my fruits like these ones are the permanent ones I think all of them are permanent except the first oh sorry the second one power fruit A is not um, permanent so if you rebirth you have to, use to start with that one from zero and next we got the gold diggers and on the gold diggers so I'm currently on total level bonus on 146 um, percent and believe me I had to do quite a few let's say leveling up to get to that point and yeah so yes so I currently have my drop chance activated adventure stat activated I got both my NGUs activated and then everything basically on page 3 is activated and yeah I've got my PP maxed or almost maxed out and I've got my XP also almost maxed out okay next we got the beards of power so I currently have six um, beards active I'm still um, looking to get the last one I'm, I'm saving up my um, AP to get the last um, beard so I can have all of my beards activated at the same time the only one I don't have active at the moment is the wondrous one which I don't really re need at the moment that's why I'm more or less looking at the other ones the most important beard is the adventure stats to because as I said before I'm struggling to get to the next zone the red lands and yeah this helps quite a bit to boost my adventure stats next we got questing right so on a questing it's quite a long pro process to um, get your um, QP points higher at the start it's very very slow and even now still for me it's very slow um, I've got a QP reward modifier of 422% which I got through um, my axe and also some PP um, points you can use to to boost this as well but it doesn't boost um, that much so I'm currently getting 50 QP points for a minor um, quest and that's also an idol so if I don't do idol it will be a hundred which is probably not too bad okay so on the beard quests even here on page one you'll see that I don't know if so, um, that though so many um, of them activated yet because as I said some of them are very expensive and your QP points don't come in that often so like 7500 will probably take me about three days to um, accumulate but I am at the point where I am getting more QP points now and probably the most important ones that you probably first want to look at is the NGU um, if you're on evil difficulty is this NGU one it helps you if you do NGU levels on your evil NGU it also adds it onto your normal one which makes your um, boost go up uh, much faster also this one's very important because on your basic training it helps you to get your bars filled up faster so it helps you with your um, challenges to get through them faster as well next we got the hacks as I said in the beginning I'm concentrating on my um, third resource my dark energy to get my axe um, quite up a bit I'm currently working on my adventure stats to get to the next zone and yeah also 
the blood gain it's very very important it helps your blood magic boosts a lot like I'm currently on 821 percent so that's quite a bit on page two I've got my QP points at 237 percent then I got my XP axe it's 160 percent is not that much but it took a quite a long while to get to here and then on your PP axe it's quite important to this one it boosts your PP progress by quite a bit like of all of the things you can boost it with this boost it, um, the most and the easiest I'll say okay next we got wishes okay so wishes the only thing that's bad about wishes is the fact that you it doesn't matter how much um, magic or energy you've got or what resource you've got the, the minimum time it takes to do one which is four hours and you know four hours is quite a bit if you have to do like 10 or 20 levels per um, per wish like my dual reading I just recently finished on level 10 so four hours like 40 hours just to get that complete that and also this wish also very important again because it helps your basic training to fill your bars up more quickly and you know, that helps you again with your um, challenges okay page four and yes also again why i um, said i did this wish to so i don't have to put in any energy into the advanced training they all just run at max percentage the next thing i'll probably be looking at is this um, cube to make my cube um, boost more efficient to use my boost more efficient okay, then we got our cards where it it also helps quite a bit so I'm currently trying to concentrate only on either okay or good or very good um, cards because your main production is very very slow like the 16 I've got here it took me 16 hours to basically get and at first when I got this I thought okay there's an option in the IP where you can just buy another Mayo generator so I thought okay I'll buy this and it will make my um, Mayo go twice as fast but yeah, this wasn't the case because if I activate two at the time then it basically takes two hours to complete one except for one hour so it just helps you basically to do two at a time but it doesn't do it faster so it's still very difficult to get more um, mayo and yeah so yes the bonuses I've so far got on my mayo I'm currently more concentrated on my adventure stats to again to get to the next zone and then also QP and PP and the wishes and axe those are also the ones I'm currently only concentrating on because you have to basically select which you which you want to do because you not going to get enough mayo to do all of them okay this quickly want to show you what I've bought with AP so yes all the potions that I already bought and also I have used quite a bit so you probably won't be able to see how much I had in total and special yes everything I bought here as I said before I am saving up to buy the last um, beard slot special free Okay, most of these are just to make the game a little bit easier they're not really gonna help your progress except for faster wishes 20% 25% will quite, um, help you a lot with your wishes and then also all the accessory slots are already bought that you can buy that you can buy with um, IP and on the items yeah I already bought the red art and this green art here because this one gives you um, it's 10% XP boost and if you max it out you don't have to equip it so you can throw it away if you want to and also this one if you uh, max it out 20% to your um, PP progress that's quite helpful I am probably gonna get this one soon because if you max it out you get the 10% on your mayor generation and that's also gonna help me out quite a bit right okay. on boost 2 basically you just got your food you can buy you got your pills you can buy none of these are really worth the um, AP to spend AP on them because if you do your um, 
IT port levels that gives you the proof as well and the rest is just not worth to buy worth it to buy it even these ones I don't really buy it I'll probably just get them through the spin sometimes but I don't buy it special 2 okay, most on this page it's very important to get like these successive slots in the beginning they quite um, they're not that expensive so you probably want to get them as soon as possible and the MacGuffins there it comes to a point where it's not really worth to buy it anymore so like five for me was enough and digger slots I probably will get more later but for now um, I currently have eight and that's enough for me because <coughs> some of this things you don't need to have it active all the time yeah. this inf this cube um, is also probably important it will help make your cube go up, go up faster okay so here we back again at the main generation I bought really bought this accessory slot it was 750,000 AP so that was very very expensive and yeah <coughs> you can definitely have to buy the extra deck size so you because you start with 10 as a standard deck size and you probably want to get to about 15 16 because otherwise you run out of space and you don't get any more new cards and okay this xp and pp is basically useless for me i can't spend any ap on it i actually wish they made like a progress thing so the further you progress the higher the, um, the things you can buy with AP because yeah, otherwise at the moment it's really really useless if you buy it now and <clears throat> on the buying side I didn't go crazy to buy a whole lot of AP um, I did want to support uh, the developer of this game just to say thanks for a great game so I think I spent about $30 on, on AP on the game just to help him out and just to say thanks for the great game Okay, I think that's it for AP. I'm just going to show you quickly the, my spent XP, what I've got and everything here. So on my energy cap, I've got 15.7 quintillion um, energy cap. So that's like, you've got million, then billion, then trillion, then it's quintillion. So I'm currently on quintillion. And my energy power is on 4 um, trillion. Um, so even with my base, only 10 million. My equipment that I got will boost it up to a trillion because yeah, my boost is quite quite nice. And then on magic, we've got two quintillion um, magic, and we got two um, quant tr two trillion magic power. But yeah, I'm currently just working on my total energy cap, so I'll get this to twenty million. So I always try to when I work on something to make it four times more. So after that, I'll work on my um, energy power to get that to 16 um, trillion. Then I'll go to my magic and I want to get this at least to 10 quintillion. So I can activate the fruits for the mayors as well. And then I'll do the same basically with magic power just to make it also four times more. And that I'll do right through. So on the dark magic, dark power or third resource, I'll do the same. If I get to it again, I'll make this four times more, four times more. And yeah, for me that works quite well to to make my progress the best. Okay, on adventure specials, I basically just bought everything that you can buy. On misc, I bought everything that you can buy. And also adventure on attack, boost and defense. I also boosted, I used a, quite a bit of XP on you. Probably about a few, probably two or three billion XP I spent on both of them. And then on the fruits, I bought all of the ones that activate automatically my fruits, so you don't have to go and do it every day. But just the mayors I haven't done yet because I can't really use it yet. And also one billion XP, it's, it's still for me a lot to spend on, on that perk. Right, on the infern stuff, I'll just show you quickly here. So currently I at 27.4 billion XP in total and 6.7 billion AP in total. Yeah, so that's 
let's say in, in the last month I've been doubling my my XP earned so my income it's getting quite nicely so if we just go quickly to the challenges I'm just going to run through here so all my normal challenges I already got all of them done and then now I'm busy with the evil challenges so the basic one I've completed it the augment challenge I completed it my 24 hour challenge I've got to level 6 100 level challenge I've got to level 5 no equipment challenge level 2 troll challenge I got to level 6 I really wanted to get to level 7 this would help to a lot to do two um, wishes at the same time seeing that you know it's 4 hours minimum time spent but I tried level 7 but it was basically impossible for for me because you had to get to boss 159 right but because you get the stroll challenge that that basically breaks everything and basically I could only get to boss 142 and didn't matter what I tried and did I couldn't get past 142 so I had to basically cancel it and I'll come back back later with some better stats to take that on again and then my no rebirths I've basically done that already all of them you can see even my last one only that took me four minutes that was quite good and then the laser um, laser sword challenge a little for it's not really any specified raw yet so probably still wait till I finish that one and the blight challenge I did level 3 the no ng challenge did level 5 this is also quite important because it will help you do your acts much faster so you'll have to take that up as far as you can then no um, time machine challenge the level 3 and yeah that's basically it so if there's anything else that you want me to go into more detail just leave a comment in the in the section and then i'll come back to you right, thank you for watching and have a nice day